There's hot water, toilets and medical help. It's a world away from the squalid conditions many have been enduring. Around 3,000 migrants and refugees have moved to a new camp in Greece, which is being run by the military. It's part of stepped-up efforts to help the tens of thousands of people now trapped in the country because of border closures blocking their path out, the so-called Western Balkan route. This camp in near Kavala is around 25 kilometres from the border with the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, which has become a bottleneck. Athens is trying to move people out of a massive tented camp here in the frontier town of Idomeni, where conditions are dire. Two people have been diagnosed with hepatitis A here, stoking health concerns. 71-year-old Eleni Demoni and her husband Christos, who's 83, live just a few metres away. A week ago, two girls came by with eight children, she says. They said, we're hungry. I gave them something to eat. They told me they'd like to shower, so I let them in to take a shower. Then a German journalist came by. And then a girl comes and embraces me in thanks, and I started to cry, and then my husband started to cry. It was moving. The couple have been overwhelmed, but say they won't turn people away. Greece has been the main entry point into Europe for more than a million migrants and refugees since last year.